In the year 493, Luther Pendragon became King of Britain. His counselor was a magician named Merlin. When King Luther's son was born, I think that the best thing is to make Arthur grow away from the court. It is safer. Uh, okay, Merlin, you are right. Okay. So Merlin gave the little Arthur to Sir Hector and his wife. They raised him well. But in 1590, King Uther died. Britain had no king. So Merlin went to the Archbishop of Canterbury and he asked him to call a meeting of the noblemen of the kingdom at the great church in London on Christmas Day. No one succeeded in pulling the sword out of the stone. On New Year's Day, the sword was still in the stone. Arthur tried to pull the sword out, and it did without difficulty. Arthur, you are the new king of Britain! How can it be possible? I don't want to leave my family and become the new king of Britain. Arthur, I have to tell you an important thing. I am not your real father, the magician Merlin brought you to us when you were little, like a bean. I don't know who you are, but I raised you with love. And uh, now, look at you. You are the new king of Britain. I'm proud of you! He got a son, and now he is our new king. Over the years, Arthur first became a knight and finally, King of Britain. Arthur was a young king. His first years as a king were difficult. He fought against many enemies, and some noblemen of his court didn't want to obey a young king. One day, King Arthur, while he was riding in the forest, saw a fountain. Near the fountain, there was a knight named Sir Pelinor. Stop! Who are you? You can't go past the fountain. You must fight with me first. If I lose, you can't go past the fountain. Who I am is not important. I'm ready to fight. I'm the winner! Pelinor, stop to fight! This knight is your king, King Arthur! Merlin, I broke my sword during the fight with Sir Pelinor. I must have another sword. Come with me, Arthur, i show you a thing. Yes, I follow you, Merlin. Look, there is a arm who is holding a sword in a scabbard. Yes, that is Lady of the Lake. If you ask her kindly, the sword is yours. Look, there is the word Excalibur written on it. Yes, Excalibur is the greatest sword in the world. But remember, when you fight, you must always have the scabbard with you. Because uh, if you wear it, you will never bleed, even if you are wounded. A lot of enemies tried to invade Britain, the Saxons, the Jews and the Picts, and others. A big army of Saxons attacked King Leodegrans in his castle. He was a king of Cameliard. Young King Arthur and his knights fought against the Saxons and won. King Leodegrans was very thankful to Arthur. He invited him and his knights to a royal banquet. Arthur, thank you. You're very courageous. May I introduce you to my favorite daughter, Guinevere? I'm honored to meet you, King Arthur. You are a very beautiful lady. Would you like to 
you like to dance with me? Yes, it's my pleasure. I have heard that you won against the terrible Saxons. Yes, but I'm also very thankful to my loyal and great knights. I admire you all. Your wife must be a very lucky woman. No, Guinevere, I'm not married. But I fell in love with you. I know it's premature to ask, but would you like to marry me? Yes, I will. Give me your advance. My love for your daughter makes me ask you for a rent. I'm honored to give my daughter to a courageous king. My gift for you is the round table too, which belonged to your father, King Uther. The round table had places for 150 knights, and Arthur called only the best knights to sit there. Arthur and Guinevere were married, and everyone in the kingdom was happy. The five kings will conquer Britain soon. We must fight them and protect the empire. I need your help, valorous knights of the round table. Dear Guinevere, I don't want to leave you alone. Please come with me. I promise to protect you. Your lovely presence gives me happiness and courage. Arthur, I'm happy to follow you. Wherever you go, I'll be behind you. Arthur, Arthur, wake up! The five knights are here! Uh, nice, get up! We have to go to the forest! Let's attack them by surprise. They can't see us, but we can see them. King Arthur and his knights killed the five kings. The enemies left Britain. Nice to meet you, Galad. We are very happy to meet you. Welcome. Sit down. When Galad sat down on the round table, his name appeared on the table. Lancelot looked at Galahad carefully. Then he recognized him. He was his son. One day the knights were sitting at the round table. They were celebrating a religious holiday. Suddenly, something unusual happened. That was really great! Christ's blood was kept in it after he was crucified. I want to look the Holy Grail for one year and one day. I want to look for the Holy Grail too. All the knights wanted to travel to distant lands to find the Holy Grail. There was a great excitement at the round table. But King Arthur was very worried. He knew that the search of the Holy Grail was dangerous. Only the knights with pure hearts could see the Holy Grail. There were Galahad, Percival and Bors. Thank you, God. I'm 
even traveling to this island. After many dangerous adventures, we have finally found the Holy Grail. Now we must come back to Camelot and bring the Holy Grail to our king. After finding the Grail, Galahad and Percival died, but Burs returned to Camelot. He told everyone about his wonderful experience. In 537, Arthur went to a distant land to fight. Sir Gawain and other royal knights went with him. Before leaving Camelot, King Arthur spoke to a knight called Mordred. Mordred, he asked you to rule my land until I return. I know you are a loyal man. Of course, my king. I will rule Camelot until you return. King Arthur and his knights have left Britain. I want to take King Arthur's place and become King of Britain. So Mordred told everyone that Arthur had been killed. Mordred became King of Britain. When King Arthur heard the news, he was so furious and he returned to Britain immediately. There was a long, terrible battle. Only King Arthur and Sir Bedivere remained alive. Arthur fought a long, terrible battle against Mordred. I am the real king of Britain! No! I am the new king! You are dead! Excalibur back to the Lady of the Lake. Take it to the lake, then throw it far into the water. I will do it, my king. Sir Bedivir went to the lake and threw Excalibur far into the water. An arm came out of the water and caught it. See where we are returned to King Arthur. My king, when I threw Excalibur far into the lake, an arm from the water caught the sword. Thank you, my loyal friend. Now carry me to into the lake. At the lake, there was a boat waiting for Arthur. The Lady of the Lake was in it. What can I do without you now, my king? My life is near death. Pray for yourself. Prayers can do many things. Farewell. I'm going to Avalon. Pull me in the boat. 